Yup, we ended up getting scammed. What's going on you guys and welcome back to another video and yes, we got scammed trying to buy this iPod Touch 4th generation on eBay and I was so excited to make an unboxing video for you guys. I was planning this whole thing, you know, I was going to show you guys the entire process, you know, everything about the box, everything about the iPod, but the second I found out this thing was resealed and not an authentic iPod Touch just made me kind of sad. But yeah, let's get into this video and let's talk about how I got into this situation. So this actually dates all the way back to August 2021. This is when my channel was pretty small and I had this random idea, why don't I just buy an iPod Touch because I don't have any iPods in my collection at the moment. Moment. So that's exactly what I did, but I was on vacation in Arizona at the time So I ordered it to my cousin's house thinking I could save a little bit of money by shipping it to the US So that's what I did, but it ended up arriving the day that I left back to Canada And so it was just sitting in Arizona for like almost a year And I just came back from Arizona a couple weeks ago and I finally got my hands on it but when I first saw this thing, I was like, yes, this thing is definitely not an authentic product. And I want to make this video to raise a little bit of awareness to help you guys out when it comes to buying old authentic Apple products because it's so easy to get scammed nowadays. So let's go ahead and unbox this thing and let's show you guys what type of things are wrong with this iPod. Now, before I unbox this, you guys might be wondering, Rohit, how much did you end up paying for this iPod? I paid around 40 US dollars, which honestly is a lot for an open box iPod touch. And I knew it was open box based on the photos that I saw on the eBay listing. And unfortunately, the eBay listing does not exist anymore because it was removed. And because it was such a long time ago, so I'm pretty sure it was removed by eBay. Um, but basically, you know, when I got this box, I knew it was fake immediately. I mean, the font over here, iPod Touch, this is not the authentic iPod font. You know, comparing it against a real iPod Touch, yeah, that's definitely not the same. And there's also no product or serial number information on the bottom. So another dead giveaway that this was not an authentic product. And another thing you guys will notice, of course, is this weird little screen protector that comes with every single iPod Touch. It looks like there's some sort of moisture or water damage underneath it. I'm not sure what happened there. Um, this definitely is not even like the same home screen as the one seen on the eBay listing. You know, what ends up happening is a lot of eBay sellers end up using uh, the same photo for every single product that they have. And basically, the photo that I saw on eBay was supposed to be an iOS 5 iPod Touch, but this is iOS 4 because it has that green FaceTime icon and a couple things just look very different on this one over here. And when I take this wrapper off, you guys will notice, you know, there's like a little loose home button. There's also this weird sensor at the top right that is very visible. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. So yeah, this basically tells me that this was a refurbished iPod Touch. Basically, the seller probably bought a bunch of non-authentic Apple parts for the iPod Touch and they put them together and tried to sell this as a brand new product. Of course, they would think a lot of people wouldn't realize, but to be honest, it's very easy to spot these on the iPod Touch, especially on a 10 year old product. I mean, this thing came out in 2010, so it's more than 10 years old. Um, but yeah, it's very sad that I fell for this and I honestly wish I could have done like the eBay buyback guarantee or whatever it's called, uh, where eBay basically reimburses you for you know anything that happens if the product does not match the description or if you get scammed. But unfortunately, I was not eligible for that because this was bought way more than 30 days ago, so I'm definitely outside of that window. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and see if this thing actually turns on. I went ahead and connected it to my computer and let's see what iOS version this thing is actually running. And there you go, as you guys can see, the uh, Apple logo is now appearing on this iPod Touch. I had it plugged in for like 10 minutes, but it's finally turning on and just by looking at the Apple logo, it looks like iOS 6. And this is honestly so confusing because when I bought this thing, it looked like it had iOS 5, but when I got it in person, it looked like it had iOS 4. And now this thing is about to have iOS 6. Like this is literally the most confusing Apple product that I've ever bought. But yeah, going through the entire Apple setup here, it's basically iOS 6. I've already gone through this multiple different times before. And as you guys can see, that wallpaper is an iOS 6 wallpaper. But honestly, this thing is in pretty good condition, but the fact that it is refurbished and that it is not an authentic Apple product, this was basically refurbished by the seller, uh, meaning they probably bought non-genuine parts like I mentioned, and they put it together to make it look like a real product. So you guys gotta be super careful when you guys are buying products on eBay. And remember, as the buyer, you always have the right to contact eBay or to contact the seller if something ever seems off. You usually have around 30 days after receiving the product in order to do that. So make sure you guys take advantage of that, like I mentioned. And a quick word of advice, if you guys are located internationally, if you guys are located pretty much outside of the US, then you're probably familiar with the global shipping program. And one thing to keep in mind is that if you buy a brand new product, doesn't matter if it's an Apple product, if it's anything that's sealed, 
the global shipping program might open up the product in order to verify it, you know, just like quality assurance type of stuff. They wanna make sure that the product is actually inside there and that the product is what it claims to be. And what ends up happening is, let's say if you buy a sealed iPod Touch, it may end up coming opened up. And that's gonna be super annoying from a collector's perspective because you just paid full price for a brand new product, but it's already been opened up and tampered with. So be super careful with that. But anyways, guys, I hope this helped raise some sort of awareness for this issue. Be super careful when you guys are out there buying Apple products. But anyways, if you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.